Welcome to Senior High School Math Series. Let us have Solving Exponential Inequalities under General Mathematics, Quarter 1, Week 6. This is based on Curriculum Implementation and Learning Management Matrix for K-12's Most Essential Learning Competencies. Here are our lesson objectives to identify the property of exponential inequality and to solve exponential inequalities. Before we continue, let us ponder on this. Mathematics possesses not only truth, but supreme beauty. A beauty cold and austere like that of the scripture. This is by Bertrand Arthur William Russell. Okay, let's start with the property of exponential inequalities. If b is greater than 1, then the exponential function y is equal to b raised to x is increasing for all values of x. This means that b raised to x is less than b raised to y if and only if x is less than y. Also, if b is between 0 and 1, that means b is a fraction less than 1, then the exponential function y equals b raised to x is decreasing for all values of x. This means that b raised to x is greater than b raised to y if and only if x is less than y. Let us go to some examples. Solve the inequality 3 raised to x is less than 9 raised to x minus 2. So in the same way that we solve exponential equations, we are to express both sides of the inequality as exponential expression of the same base. In here, 9 raised to x minus 2, the base 9 can be written as a power of 3. And that is 3 squared. So we have 3 raised to x is less than 3 squared raised to x minus 2. Using the rule of exponent, we have 3 raised to x, distribute 2 to x minus 2. 3 raised to x is less than 3 raised to 2x minus 4. Since the base is 3, which is greater than 1, therefore, the exponent x is less than the exponent on the right side of the inequality. That's 2x minus 4. So we are to solve for x by subtraction property of inequality. We subtract 2x from both sides. So we get negative x is less than negative 4. And then applying MPI or that is the multiplication property of inequality. We multiply both sides by negative 1. In that case, the sense of the inequality will change its direction. So we will have x is greater than 4. The solution is the set of all x element of real numbers such that x is greater than 4. We can also do checking in solving exponential inequality only that the value for x in checking may vary. In here, x is greater than 4, so we can use any value that is greater than 4. Let us use 5. Substituting 5 to x in the original inequality, so we have 3 raised to 5 is less than 9 raised to 5 minus 2. So 3 raised to 5 is 243. 5 minus 2 is 3, so on the right side we have 9 cubed, and 9 cubed is 729. Therefore, 243 is less than 729, which is correct. Okay, let us proceed to example number 2. Solve the inequality 1 over 10 raised to x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 1 over 100 raised to 3x. 
1 over 100 can be written as 1 over 10 squared. So we have 1 over 10 raised to x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 1 over 10 squared raised to 3x. By rule of exponent, we multiply the exponents 2 and 3x. Therefore, on the right side of the inequality, we'll have 1 over 10 raised to 6x squared. Now, since the base is 1 over 10, and that is less than 1, so when we relate the exponents, we will have x plus 5 is less than or equal to 6x. Notice how the sense of the inequality symbol has changed its direction. That is following the property of exponential inequalities. Solving for x, we have 5 is less than or equal to 5x, subtracting x from both sides of the inequality. And dividing both sides by 5, we get x is greater than or equal to 1. So the solution set is x element of real such that x is greater than or equal to 1. So for checking, we can use x is equal to 1. Then 1 over 10 from the original inequality raised to 1 plus 5 is greater than or equal to 1 over 100 raised to 3 times 1. 1 plus 5 is 6, so that's 1 over 10 raised to 6. And then 1 over 100 is 1 over 10 squared. So that is using the rule of exponents on the right and side of the inequality, we have 1 over 10 raised to 6 greater than or equal to 1 over 10 raised to 6. And the answer is correct. Next, example number 3. Solve the inequality 8 raised to x minus 1 is less than or equal to 1 half raised to 2x minus 1. So in here, we're going to express one half as its reciprocal to then by the rule of exponent we will get the negative of its original exponent 2x minus 1 and then we write 8 as a power of 2 so that is 2 raised to 3 then we will have 2 raised to 3 raised to x minus 1 is less than 2 raised to the negative of 2x minus 1 Resolving the exponents, on the left-hand side, we have 2 raised to 3x minus 3. On the right-hand side of the inequality, we have 2 raised to negative 2x plus 1. The base is greater than 1, so we can just relate the exponents as 3x minus 3 is less than or equal to negative 2x plus 1. Adding 2x to both sides of the inequality, and then adding 3 to both sides also, we get 3x plus 2x is less than or equal to 3 plus 1. Combining similar terms, we have 5x less than or equal to 4. Divide both sides by 5 to get the value of x. That will be x is less than or equal to 4 fifths. So for checking, since the solution is... All values of x that is less than or equal to 4 fifths, we can use 0. Of course, for checking, answers may vary depending on the value that will be used for x as long as it is less than or equal to 4 fifths. Okay, let us continue using 0 as our value for x in checking. Then, substitute 0 to the original inequality. 8 raised to 0 minus 1 is less than or equal to 1 half raised to 2 times 0 minus 1. So we have 8 raised to negative 1 is less than 1 half raised to negative 1. 8 raised to negative 1 is 1 eighth, and 1 half raised to negative 1 is 2. So 1 eighth is less than 2. The answer is correct. Okay, at this point, we'll have our practice exercises. I will give you 15 seconds to answer each item, but you may pause the video and then play again if you need more time to answer. So, practice exercise number one, solve the inequality 3 raised to 3x 
plus 7 is greater than 81. Go! Time is up. Let us answer. We express both sides as an exponential expression of the same base. So we have 3 raised to 4 on the right hand side. The base is greater than 1 so we can just relate the exponent as 3x plus 7 is greater than 4. Subtract 7 from both sides. We have 3x is greater than 4 minus 7 that is negative 3. And then divide both sides by 3, we get x is greater than negative 1. Let us check the answer. Since it's greater than negative 1, checking may vary, of course. So we use x is equal to 0, since 0 is greater than negative 1. Substituting 0 to the original inequality, we have 3 raised to 3 times 0 plus 7 is greater than 81. 3 times 0 is 0, so that is 3 raised to 7, greater than 81. And 3 raised to 7 is 2,187, that is greater than 81. So the answer is correct. Let us proceed. Exercise number 2. Solve the inequality. 2 raised to 3 minus x is less than or equal to 1 over 128. Go. Okay, let us answer. So rewriting both sides, 2 is 1 half raised to negative 1. So when we do that, it will be 1 half raised to the negative of 3 minus x and that is x minus 3. Is less than or equal to 1 over 128 is 1 half raised to 7. The base 1 half is less than 1. So, when we relate the exponents, that will be x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 7. Add 3 to both sides, we have x is greater than or equal to 10. For checking, let us use 11 for x. And substitute that to x in the original inequality. 2 raised to 3 minus 11 is less than or equal to 128. 3 minus 11 is negative 8. And 2 raised to negative 8 is 1 half raised to 8, 1 over 256. And that is less than 128. The answer is correct. Let us have one more, number 3. Solve the inequality 2 raised to x squared is greater than or equal to 32 raised to 10 minus x. Go. Okay, let us check. 32 can be written as 2 raised to 5. So we have 2 raised to x squared is greater than or equal to 2 raised to 5 raised to 10 minus x. Then distribute 5 to 10 minus x will get 2 raised to x squared is greater than 2 raised to 50 minus 5x. So we now have two exponential expressions with base 2. Then we can just relate the exponents as x squared is greater than or equal to negative 5x plus 50. This is a quadratic inequality. Therefore, we can write the right-hand side of the inequality as 0. In that case, we will have x squared plus 5x minus 50 is greater than or equal to 0. We can do this by factoring x minus 5 times the quantity x plus 10 is greater than or equal to 0. Solving quadratic inequality, we may use the sign table. But then again, if we are 
are used to solving quadratic inequality and this is greater than or equal to zero we know that the solution will be x is less than or equal to the lower root or x is greater than or equal to the larger root in that case the roots of the quadratic equation are 5 and negative 10 therefore in the quadratic inequality we have x is less than or equal to negative 10 or x is greater than or equal to 5. That is all for exercises on this topic you may download from the link given on the description of this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more math lessons.